what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be sanding the bottom part of the boat. Um, we have some wear and tear and um, there's some scratches in the front. I'm starting in the back. I don't have proper boat jacks. They're way expensive. Don't know where I can find anyone near here that has them. The boat is lying in two cradles, so I'm going to be sanding what I can sand, paint what I can paint, and then I'm going to use like a 2x6 uh, with two very large car jacks and lift one part of the boat out of the cradle by also um, putting these in for safety if the boat does want to go down anyway. I always have wedges that I'll put in. While we were sanding, it was very difficult to show most of the sanding process because we don't have any boat jacks or anything like that. So it was literally me on my back looking upwards underneath the trailer, very tight spaces, uh, but we got the sanding done. You don't need to sand all of the um, bottom paint off. Um, it just needs to be smooth. Um, so that's what we've done. We're going to be painting the hydro coat, the petite hydro coat, a blade of anti-fouling paint. This stuff is pretty bad for you. So that's why we're wearing full body suits, hats, uh, gloves, uh, proper respirators and goggles. Um, we're going to be doing two coats of this. Um, it's good for boats that are trailer sailors like this. Um, it can withstand the the constant trailering and beaching. 